Hey guys, this is Rocky, and today we are going to be working with Audacity to um, to take out voice from an MP3 track. Now, let me tell you before we move on, this does not work all the time. Uh, sometimes a little better, sometimes not so good. And um, depending on how that MP3 was generated, this may or may not work at all. But fortunately for us, it does work for most of the time. So of course, first of all, go on and run Audacity on your Windows or Mac. You can, if you don't have an Audacity on your computer, uh, you may find it from download.com for free. Uh, the latest version, I believe, is um, uh, 1.3.6. Okay. So first of all, let's go and click on File and Open. Go around your computer and find the song that you like or would like to take out the audio from. I shall use this song called I Can't Lie by Maroon 5. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to not play it uh, as much as I can because I hate being flagged by Google. So, <laughs> okay, so just to demonstrate that it does have audio, I will um, play it for a couple of seconds. So here I go. I click on, just by clicking on it, um, on any of these time, you uh, you can actually listen to the to the track that is open on your Audacity. So I'm gonna click on this. There you go. We have audio in this song. So after you open the track on Audacity, the first step is for you to click at this position uh, where you can see the um, the song title. If you click on this down arrow you will see this option that says split stereo track. When we click on it, now we have a, a left track and the right track. Okay, so there goes the first step. The second step is you click on both of these tracks and you turn them into mono. I've done it with the first track. As you can see, it changed from left to mono and I do the same thing with the right track. Uh, just click on it, click on this arrow, and we turn it into a mono. Perfect. Now they still sound the same. And our last and final stop for uh, this audio to uh, not have a vocal is we double click on the on the uh, the right track. By double clicking it, we are basically selecting all the data that is in that track. As you can see, the color has changed from gray to darker gray. And as you have that track selected, I need you to click on Effect, Utility, Invert. Very simple. And just one click, and that will invert that track. And believe it or not, we are done. So I can just click on any of the parts of the song, and you shall not hear vocal. Hopefully. <laughs> so let's click on this. Perfect. We do not have vocal on this track anymore. And now the, the final, uh, the action, the final task is very simple. You go to File, Export, Edit. And uh, if you want to give it um, a better quality sound, you may change these things. Not very important, optional. We hit save. This is the ID3 tag. Uh, you may or may not change it. Completely up to you. You hit OK. Your tracks will be mixed down to a single mono channel. That's exactly what we want. So um, I'm just going to leave this option blank. Uh, you can take it out if you want. We hit OK and boom. It's gonna take about a few seconds depending on the file size for um, for this MP3 to be transported with and I'm just going to open it with my QuickTime player. As you can see the the, the background singers are still there which is a good thing, I think, uh, depending on what is it that you want. But 
for a free software for a very quick trick this is not bad i think using audacity so i hope you enjoyed and you had fun and you learned something uh, good luck